In summer of 2019, Soundcore released a Bluetooth speaker that has been very popular ever since. But how does the speaker hold up and is it still worth it in 2021? My name is Sebastian from TechCentury and I'm here to help you make the right purchasing decision. Welcome to my full review of the Motion Plus. So before getting started, I want to mention that I've received the Motion Plus as a Christmas present over a year ago that I don't have any affiliation to Soundcore, so all my views are completely unbiased. The Motion Plus was originally released for $100 and its price has been rather stable ever since then. Sometimes you can get it on sale for around $80 and there are currently three different colors available, black, the version that you see right here, red and blue to choose from. I will leave the links in the description below for your convenience and real-time pricing so that you don't miss when this speaker goes on sale. Inside the box of the Motion Plus you only find a short quick start guide, an aux cable as well as a USB-A to USB-C charging cable and of course the speaker itself. Build quality on the Motion Plus is super solid with a metal grill up front and rubberized finish all around. It is kind of fingerprint magnet though. This quality impression also shows in the high rate of more than one kilogram, which is a lot for this small form factor. The design is not really spectacular and to be honest, I would rather call it understated or maybe boring. It certainly doesn't look cheap, but for example, in comparison to the Bose SoundLink Mini, it looks kind of boring and yeah, just bland. What I really like about the design is this 15 degree upward angle when you place this speaker on a desk or on a table because this means that the drivers are actually facing towards your ears and not your stomach. Now before moving on to the ports and controls, I want to give you a small sneak peek at future content. I'm currently waiting for the delivery of the just announced Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro true wireless earbuds with active noise cancellation. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss my review of these exciting earbuds. In terms of ports and controls, the Motion Plus offers USB Type-C for charging here on the side, as well as also an aux port. So it's good to see that even though the speaker is a little bit older, there's still USB-C on there and there's also the rubber flap protecting the ports because this is water resistant. When it comes to controls, the speaker features one button here on the side, which is actually for turning it on and off, and also five additional buttons up top, where you can control the bass level, enable Bluetooth pairing, increase and decrease the volume, play and pause, skip songs, and also summon voice assistants like Siri or Google Assistant, at least in theory. Somehow it doesn't work on my Galaxy S10, not sure. Leave me your thoughts if it works on your device, on mine it somehow doesn't. In terms of special features, the Motion Plus is compatible with the Soundcore app that is available for Android and iOS. This app not only allows you to perform firmware update, but also shows you the battery status and also lets you choose from different available EQs or even lets you set your own. Now what's amazing about this is that the chosen EQ is actually saved on the Motion Plus itself, so even if you switch devices, the Motion Plus will stick with the EQ that you've chosen. In terms of Bluetooth, the Motion Plus features Bluetooth 5.0, which is not bad considering that it was released over 18 months ago. And in terms of range, it covered 100% of our 1,200 square feet loft and roughly 60% of our 1,000 square feet backyard with my phone lying on my desk at the other side of the apartment. So this is a little better than the average range of Bluetooth 5.0, which is nice to see. In terms of codecs, it also supports AppDex for higher bitrate streaming. Soundcore claims a battery life of over 12 hours here with the built-in 6700 mAh battery in the Motion Plus and in my own test at 50% volume it actually lasted over 30 hours which is absolutely incredible. Now if you've seen other reviews of mine I usually test speakers and headphones at 100% volume to really see how much battery life they get in like a worst case scenario. However this wasn't possible here on the Soundcore because it gets super loud and I didn't want to annoy my neighbors for this long. The Motion Plus features also an official IPX7 rating for ingress protection. This means that the speaker should be able to survive a depth of 1 meter for up to 30 minutes. But I wouldn't test this to be honest. Still, it's good to see that it shouldn't be an issue and just for splashes, I don't think you'll have any issues with the speaker as you can see right here as well. In terms of real downsides, there's not really much coming to my mind to be honest. As I mentioned before, I personally feel like the design is kind of boring and bland, but maybe that's just my thing. In addition to that, the rubber finish 
also is kind of like a fingerprint magnet and can also get scratched up, which doesn't look that great after a while, but it still feels good in the hand. Another downside might be the fact that you need to play around with the EQs to really get the best sound quality out of the speaker. Just taking it out of the box and listening to it for the first time without any EQ adjustment, I was rather disappointed to be honest. Moving on to the sound quality, as just mentioned, the first impressions were a bit underwhelming, but after trying out different EQs in the app, this really changed. The Motion Plus can deliver a really good amount of bass and surprisingly good clarity when it comes to mids and highs that I didn't expect from a Bluetooth speaker that is less than $100. While tech products usually don't age well, the Soundcore Motion Plus is an exception. That with firmware updates actually got even better over time, adding the possibility to store your EQ settings right on the speaker. While it's quite heavy at a little over one kilogram, you get awesome sound, battery life and a future-proof USB-C port in return, which still makes the speaker an amazing purchase, no matter if it's new or maybe even used. And if you're really into it, you can even pair two Motion Plus for an awesome stereo sound system. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below.